in this uh, section we'll talk about three things coronary circulation arteriovenous anastomes and vasa vasora so let us start with the first thing that is coronary circulation coronary circulation basically means circulation of blood to the wall of the heart to the wall of heart the heart wall is made up of cardiac muscles and it requires continuous blood supply so that it can work properly so the blood which is supplied to the wall of heart is by coronary artery this coronary artery arises from aorta just after the semi lunar walls so if you are able to recall the structure the four compartments and we said that aorta arises from the left ventricle this is aorta and after the opening there is semi lunar wall so just above the semi lunar wall from here arises a pair of coronary artery so coronary arteries are one pair and they arise from aorta just above the location of semi lunar wall so this is aorta the wall which we have shown here are semi lunar walls and there is a pair of coronary arteries which are arising these arteries then divide into branches and these branches spread all over the wall of heart so this is the one which is supplying one pair and arises from aorta just above the semi lunar walls semi lunar walls and they are going to supply blood to the wall of the heart supply blood to the wall of heart now the blood vessel which is going to bring the blood back into the heart because if the blood is being supplied the wall the muscles they would get oxygen nutrients and they would release uh, in the same blood which would become venous blood now the carbon dioxide and all the waste material that has to be brought back into the heart so coronary veins collect the blood from the heart and they open in the right auricle through an opening which is known as coronary sinus so this is coronary sinus so the blood is collected by coronary veins these veins they join and open as coronary sinus in the right auricle in right auricle so this opening is the one where all the coronary veins are have collected the blood and they pour that blood into the right auricle right auricle receives deoxygenated blood from all over the body through superior vena cava inferior vena cava and heart plus when we were discussing the structure of heart we said that this coronary sinus has valves and these valves are known as the valves of thebaceous so this we have already written so now what is that mechanism with which the blood is supplied to the wall of heart and is taken back coronary arteries 
a pair of them, they arise from aorta just above the semilunar wall. They divide into many branches and the branches supply blood to the wall. Coronary veins are going to collect the blood from all those areas and these veins join and open into the right atrium through coronary sinus. The opening of the sinus is guarded by valve of thebaceus. So this is what is called the coronary circulation. The next thing that we want to discuss is arteriovenous anastomes. These arteriovenous anastomes, these are very interesting things. Normally what happens is the blood comes through main arteries. The arteries divides into finer branches, are smaller arteries and arterioles. These arterioles divide into set of capillaries and these capillaries join to form venules and these venules they form the main vein. This is how the circulation takes place. So this is an artery, this is a vein and this is the capillary. Maximum heat radiation takes place through the capillaries because they are thin wall and whatever heat is lost is from blood that is through capillaries. This is normal but in certain areas of our body parts that is nose tip, pinna that is external ear, the tips of our digits there is a special arrangement. Apart from these things there is a connection which is from the artery, artery or smaller artery to the vein. That means in certain conditions these connections are going to open. Now let us see a normal situation. In normal situation this black line which we have drawn is not there. That means the blood is and this remains closed. So this is going to be closed here and closed here. So in normal case the blood comes through the artery, arterioles comes into capillaries, heat radiation takes place and the blood goes back into the veins. But during cold climate, when we want to conserve heat, we do not want the heat to be lost from our bodies. At that time, this opening opens and here constriction takes place. That means the blood now will go from artery into this connection. This connection is known as arteriovenous anastom. So basically the blood supply bypasses our, the capillaries. This is actually a bypass. So instead of going through the capillaries, it goes through a connection which is between artery and a vein. And this would minimize heat loss. So normally the anastomes remain closed, the blood goes through the capillaries and heat loss takes place and the areas where these anastomes are found is nose tip, pinna that is external ear digits because these are the areas from where maximum heat loss takes place. To conserve heat during cold climatic condition, the anastomes they start functioning. The opening which was closed earlier, it opens. The blood from artery is sent to the vein. That means the capillary passage or path is bypassed. And if blood is not going through the capillaries, heat radiation would be minimum. So this is to minimize heat loss from the body. And the areas from where maximum heat loss takes place are these and that is where these are the areas where we find these arteriovenous anastomes. The third thing that we want to discuss, this was our first point, this is the second thing and the third. We have seen blood supply to every part of the body. What about blood being supplied to the blood vessels? Well, blood vessels also have three layers. 
they also need blood they also need oxygen so the blood vessels which supply blood to blood vessels are known as vasa vasorum so they are defined as blood vessels of blood vessels so these are three uh, important interesting things that is coronary circulation how the blood is supplied to the heart and brought back arteriovenous anastomosis this is just an uh, adaptation to minimize heat loss or to conserve heat by bypassing the capillary pathway that is by a connection between artery and vein direct connection and it is found in those areas from where maximum heat loss takes place and third the blood vessels of the blood vessels the blood vessels which supply blood to the walls of blood vessels so these important three things